guys, it's me, Aaron. That's not Aaron. What? She's a phony. Aw. She's the cutest little phony that ever was a phony. Show us your boobs. <laughs> Okay. Hey, y'all. It's us. It's me, Erin. Real, real me. And Bubblegum. You guys met her at the end of the last video. If you stuck around that long. Some of y'all can't last that long. Some of y'all can't hang in the poop deck that long. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways. I don't know why we always play so late. It's like midnight. Right now on Estrella. It's the start of a new week. Hopefully Cottage Crepe got her switch today. I imagine she did. I could track it and find out for sure, but I had a very busy day. One of our doggos was... Can you guys see her? She's just digging. Why are you digging? She's just a little puppy. One of our um, older doggos had an issue going on. And then I took her to the emergency vet. They legit thought she got bit by a snake. They were super worried about it. They did some blood tests though and she's okay. There's always something going on when you have a bunch of doggos. We have a big dog family, so... Anyways, bye as well. Hey, Bubblegum, can you stop digging? Bubblegum keeps digging on this, like, mat that I'm sitting on. Hey. What's she's looking for? <gasps> Speaking of digging, I'm gonna go use my shovel. <gasps> my phone is ringing. Tommy. Oh. In. So cute. Alright, who sent me mail? Oops. I feel like I'm never playing whenever it's time to whenever the store's open. Hey! <laughs> lay down. <laughs> What's my present? Sit in my pocket. She's digging like she's gonna make it all the way to China. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you all wound up? Are you all wound up? Are you all wound up? Oh, you should be sleepy. I don't know why you're not sleepy. Hey. So cute. She's so cute. She was homeless. She had no home. She had no home to speak of. And we give her a home. We have too many dogs, but we still gave her a home. She's itty bitty though, so it doesn't really count. <sighs> her and Prisma are the itty bitties. Ugh, I had something in my eye like all day. My rock climbing wall is for aesthetics only. There's no, I can't use it. Oh, welcome, you're gonna have to, no, no. No, thank you. No. Oh. No. Oh, well, I'm stealing the show. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Come here, hey. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like chilling. Creepy. Oh my goodness, it's like playing the song that Chris like made. It was like doo doo like uh, like church bells or something. Hi, good girl. Oh, what an itchy little pup. I'm just making the itchy pup face. Like, so yeah, guys. Um, the. Patreon is still going on. Thank you guys, everyone that's pledged. Um, ah, 
You get like 10 times however many dollars that you pledge, that many entries. That's still a thing. And that's for every giveaway that we have going on. So if you're a Patreon, you're already ahead of the game. Like for every giveaway we do. If you have any social media like Twitter, Instagram. I don't know what you, the kids are using these days. But whatever. Share us around on there. Because the faster that we get to 3,000, the faster we'll do this giveaway. And the faster we'll get to our next giveaway. And um, the more potential you have to win things. So, pretty exciting. Hi, Lopez. Oh, I love Lopez. Oh, he's a sandwich. You have a sandwich for me. Probably not. Hi, Renee. Oh, she's singing at me. We're friends. I like hit her with my shovel. Hi, Genji. What are you doing? Haven't caught up lately. I saw you around the other day. You had quite a spring year. So have you been skipping like day? Rude! Been skipping all of the every days. I planned it though, but I can't. This is like a whole forest over here. Hi, Bubblegum. Are you gonna sit with me while I play? <laughs> She's like, no, no thanks, lady. Got my sloth friend. We've been having kind of a hard time doing streams because um, <laughs> I don't know why our upload speed has just not been great. Like we have pretty good internet speeds and stuff. So if anybody's tech, Ninchon, help us. <laughs> just kidding. <sighs> I have 1,000 bells. 2,000 bows. Ah, ah, ah. Bubblegum, hey. No. No. Ah. <laughs> no. Oh, and you guys, um, to kind of like explain the last video. Well, one of the last streams that we did. The... Wait, what? End it. That crazy dog video. That was just... We were like... I don't even know what happened. We have a stream deck. I'm not sure if you know what a stream deck is. Um, it's just like a little button. And it'll like add stuff to the stream. Like here, I'll show you guys. Like this. Like it can add foot. Oh wait, maybe not. Nothing's happening. <laughs> maybe you have to be streaming to use it. I don't really know. Chris is the IT guy. Anyways, so Chris added like a bunch of new um, settings to the stream deck. A bunch of new um, little like clips and sayings and stuff and we were like trying it out the one day and the buttons apparently were like messed up and it made a stream start which we were not aware of and it made the creepiest stream imaginable but you know sometimes uh when you don't try is when 
things pan out the best because we got a lot of views on that one. Hey. Thank you. No. No. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. No. Lay down. Lay down. Oops. Hey. 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 Paws are not gonna dig all the way to China. What you're doing? Huh? Let her out of this little room. I don't think she wants to stream. Are you gonna lay down and be nice? Lay down. Lay down. Come here. She's digging like she is on a mission. <gasps> do you want to go play with Pimo? Do you want to go play with Pimo? I know you do. Oh. She's like our cat. Okay. <sighs> we have a lot of doggos. Tired, you guys. I'm gonna travel to like a random island. Oh, it's a can? I got a can! I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Is that... Prismo! Prismo! Now the dogs are, like, bothering each other. Hey, Chris. Beat those dogs to submission. Yeah, the little bitty ones. Not the ones that can fight you off. <laughs> I caught a Crucian carp. My skills are sharp. Crustacean. No. Maybe. Baby, baby. I caught a maybe, maybe crustacean carp. I was fishing. Now, I don't know. I'm just kind of walking around. The whole time that you were gone, I was kind of just dealing with bubblegum. She was like digging a hole all the way to the center of the earth. Is it too tall here? Oh, there we go. Are you going to come play? I'm going to call you here soon. Stomplemon! gave me this vaulting pole at the very beginning of the game and it has served me very well. Thanks for the vaulting pole, darling. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I knocked a bug out of that rock. Get some gold nuggets, Chris. What is why are you so gassy today? Chris is like just walking around farting on everyone today. Real nice.
I know, right? My little character. My avatar. Made such a weird face at the camera that it like freaked me out. <laughs> What did that say? My husband ordered pizza? <laughs> My husband ordered pizza for us. Do you want to come share it with us, Chris? <laughs> I know you love to swing <laughs> and eat pizza. <laughs> That's what, these are the messages Chris gets. And then he's like, are you the guy from the gas station? I'm just like naturally like a crazy suspicious psycho but then Chris is also naturally like an oblivious idiot <laughs> like so like together it's like terrible okay how do I do this okay yeah like he got a text the other day and I was like who is this like who's texting it was like a random number or a random number kept calling you that's what it was and then he goes and then he gets a check that says, is this the guy from the gas station? Okay, now what? Oh, I see. Is this the guy from the gas station? Like, like, okay, like the multiple calls were suspicious that he wasn't answering. He's like sending it straight. Like, I don't know who this is. Like sending it straight to voicemail. And then like a few minutes later, he gets a text that's just like, is this the guy from the gas station? You gave me your number in the bathroom, dude. What the hell? Okay, so it turns out that, you know, we're doing the Switch giveaways. We also have Switches to sell. So apparently, Chris gave his information to somebody at a gas station when he was selling one of the Switches. Uh, I don't even know what the word... Lizzie Fair! That's not what it is, but, you know, lo and behold, people are calling us. Oh, okay, sorry. Here we go. Are you the guy from the gas station? <sighs> you know what I think? I think it's time. And also... <gasps> oh! My eyes are so little and close together! <laughs> no! How crazy, right? Yeah, okay. I'm wearing those glasses forever because my eyes... I thought they were adorable before, remember? I, like, didn't even want to wear the glasses. They're so little and close together. <laughs> oh. Torn pants. What did you? What was going on? It said like it, there was like two things that were like tattered that made no sense. Poop deck at the poop deck. Since you didn't respond, I my husband ordered one. From, oh, my pockets are full. Okay. Whatever. I, yeah, it's out of stock. You're going to want to hit up the guy that you messaged. Oh, the about the 3DSs or whatever. 2DSs. That's funny. You idiot. Everyone's a goddamn idiot. I shared the video. Did you see what I put when I shared the video on social media today? My, that Facebook, or not that Facebook, that YouTube video of the giveaway, I shared it again. And I said something like, share it so that like, oh, I shared it on Facebook. And I said, share it so someone who, who you like barely know, who annoys you with their innermost obscure political, I don't know, it made sense in my head. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I guess it wasn't. I guess we kind of do owe him.
Oh, seems I only have enough for one mile ticket. Aww. Why is your character so fat? It's like fatter than you. You need to make him skinnier. I'm disgusted by your fat avatar. <laughs> oh, my pockets are full. Organize your belongings. That just reminded me of Mrs. Sinclair, my third grade teacher. <laughs> I saw, I saw, um, there was, like, stuff trending on, like, Twitter, and it was, like, I don't have a Twitter, but it was just screenshots of Twitter on some other, on, like, Instagram or something, and, um, it was, like, let's say, it said, like, oh, my God, oh, I was radicalized at this age because, and people were, like, sharing their stories of, like, terrible school things that happened to them. That caused them to become. It said, I was radicalized in like second grade because I studied real hard for a bio test and I aced it. And then I doodled like monsters in the corners, but my teacher took 10 points off because of the doodles in the corners. And uh, it made me, I was like trying to think, I was like, I wonder if it, and then there were tons of them and they were, some were more traumatizing than others. And it made me think, like, I wonder if like anything, oh, go over there, there's bells buried. It made me wonder, I was like, okay, so what's, uh, hey, what's going on? Over to the right by the store. But, um, yeah. I do. Um. This is what happens even in real life. I'm trying to tell Chris a story, and then he just runs away from me, and then I get distracted by something shiny in the ground, like a bell. So anyways, uh, it made me think. I was like, so what happened to me? I was like, well, maybe nothing, you know, if I can't really remember. That was weird. And uh, <sighs> then I remembered third grade. This is Sinclair. I, and it was really funny because I saw a tweet that it said, like, my teacher did this and blah, blah, blah. And it was like, swear, like, honest to God, I hope she got sneezed on and is dead. <laughs> like, for Corona. And I was like, oh, damn. And that's, like, almost what I said right now, but I can't take someone else's joke. But Mrs. Sinclair, I don't even know how old this lady would be now. Dead. Definitely dead. She embarrass me to no end in third grade can we just talk about it i feel like i don't even feel like i told chris about it ever so i was like super messy and like cluttered and unorganized yeah was were i'm very almost ocd some might say <laughs> with my organization these days anyways uh so I was like super unorganized and like <sighs> I didn't have anybody like organizing for me. I don't know how to like say that. But uh So I remember like my desk was always super messy. She would like dump my desk out like in front of the class and make me like clean it, okay? Yeah, Mrs. Sinclair. I did not have old sandwiches. Then, and then, she, okay, this was, like, the ultimate embarrassment. I'm about to, like, okay, I need you to play for a second, because it's, like, I'm going to share with you guys, like, a truly, truly embarrassing story. So, I was in third grade, you know, like, you're in third grade, and I was, like, super, like, I was, like, a chubby little kid. Like, I was, like, <laughs> that's uncluttered, chubby. I was all these things. <laughs> but, like, uh, so, anyways... Like, your body's changing. You don't know what's going on. I, I had, like, a little chub places that I thought maybe, like, oh, are my little third grade boobies coming in? Maybe I need to wear a, sport, a bra. So I decided to wear, like, this little bra. But it was, like, I was, like, so fat that it was, like, tight and, like, dug into me. So, like, halfway through the school day, I was, like, uh-uh, this bra. No, not for me. 
So I ended up like sneaking into the back and like the classrooms were like pod styles. So they were like open classrooms. So there was like four classrooms in one area, but they were separated by like these dumb little walls. And then in the back room was like the coat room and then there was the bathroom. So it was very easy for me to like go in the bathroom, take my little like, you know, sports bra thingy off and then stuff it in my book bag like before anybody even knew what happened and then go back to the classroom. I thought I had gotten away like, yes, I did this. Should mention that my little sports bra I was so proud of because, and I wanted it to fit, but it didn't. So fat. But, like, it was, like, frilly on the edges, and it had, like, all of the um, Disney princesses, like, all over it. And I was, like, I loved it. I loved it so very much. I should mention that. Because after this day, I did not love it. And I was very traumatizing. So then, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Sinclair proceeds to, I guess, like, whenever we went to Risa, I would, like, took this bra off, and I was just excited. You know? It's, like, not, not much has changed since my third grade self. I'm the same height. Probably the same weight, <laughs> like same eating habits. Rip my bra off, <laughs> let just let them flop. We're gonna edit that part out. Anyways, so I was having a good day. I thought went outside and played kickball. Dominated because I was enormous. <laughs> and like came back inside. Mrs. Sinclair was like being weird. She like I guess like I I can't like quite recall, but I feel like they like collected everyone's like little planners every day. And would like write things in them and then people's parents had to like sign off on them and they like bring them back it was like an i like your planner they called them agendas i don't know that's too fancy for y'all but the, uh my agenda so come back in mrs sinclair had gone through my book bag and like left all my like garbage like somewhere because like my book bag was like full of garbage and like food wrappers and also my sports bra don't forget about my sports bra you guys that's important to the story so I like look in my agenda. I will never forget this. Like this is like so traumatizing. She wrote in cursive too, you guys. In fucking cursive. Like what an uppity bitch. So she she wrote like Aaron is so messy and unorganized and it's disappointing and you guys need to like help her organize her papers because they're all crumpled up and stuffed. Today, I went through her book bag and I found a used pair of underwear. And it was like underlined like four times. And it was like, this is so disgusting. Like, and I was like, oh my god. It was like levels of embarrassment because it was like, a magic kit? Don't you sell my magic kit? It was like levels of embarrassment because it was like, number one, I had to take this little sports bra off because I was like fat and didn't have boobs and it was just like painful to wear. And it was like rolled up. Like by the time I like got it off and like stretched it off me, it was just like rolled up. So like when I stuffed it in my book bag, it just looked like a nasty pair of like used old underwear that my third grade teacher found. And then wrote a note to my fucking parents about who like, my parents were always like, my parents were like super young. So like, they always thought things were like uncool, you know, you had to be like real cool. You couldn't let your guard down around them. You had to be like real cool, always on your toes. So I was like, shit, my parents are going to see this and think I'm so weird. So then I literally ripped, the I like went home with this notebook, with my agenda. That's like for the whole school year, you know, it's like, I'm like, so, so funny. I have not told this story or thought about this in so long. So I take my like agenda home and I'm like, what am I going to do? I have to have my mom sign this. Like, this is awful. Like, oh my God. Okay. I'm just going to sign it. I'm just going to sign it. So then like I spend like hours trying to like, like, I'm like, have like a piece of paper. I'm like trying to write my mom's signature and then like transpose it somehow onto my agenda. And like, I'm sure I messed it all up. So then I'm like, okay, this is unusable. This is absolutely unusable. No one's going to believe that my mom signed this thing 14 different times and like traced it with a dotted line and then signed it with a sharpie like there's no way anyone's gonna buy this so then so then I just imagined like I feel like this is where my anxiety started I just imagined like the whole like like the principal having like a meeting with like my parents and like the teacher and like everybody in my class like there, just like Aaron's dirty underwear the underlined cursive <sighs> bad but anyways so I ended up, I don't even know what I did. I feel like I like ripped the page out and just like threw it away and like never had them sign it. And then Mrs. Sinclair, I knew that I was a big fucking mess. So I don't think she really expected anything. But uh, now that I'm th saying it out loud, Mrs. Sinclair, who the hell married that bitch? 
Like, what a monster. If you're a elementary school teacher, do not terrorize the children. Because you will leave lasting, horrible impressions on them. Let me tell you. Chris, do you have any horrible elementary, like, teacher stories you'd like to share? Because I'm sure there's more if we really dig around. That one was buried deep. Whew. I feel better. I feel like that was, like, therapy. Thank you guys for letting me share that. Uh. Alright, I want to change my clothes. Can I play now? <sighs> so, are you going to use your magic kit, or what? How do I become the leader? Oh wait, here, I know. <laughs> I sneezed on you. I don't really know or care. Oh, let's go over to Blathers so I can sell him my fossils. He's always there. He's an owl. Oh, you meant because I'm not in charge. <laughs> I just keep sneezing. Change leader! Did you do that? <laughs> oh, ew, it smells. So I was <laughs> I, I was listening to um I've been listening to a lot of podcasts about that Lori Vallow lady. No, you still didn't listen to it or know anything about it, but basically I have no idea. So uh so the Lori Vallow thing, like, basically just, like, a ton of people that she knows ended up, like, coming like coming up dead. And it's, like, suspicious. As well as her children being missing. So I was listening to a podcast about it. And then I looked down at the title of it. And it said, get in, loser. We're murdering everyone we know. <laughs> and it made me laugh so hard because it was, like, a reference to Mean Girls. They're like, get in, loser. We're, like, doing this. And also it's, like... I don't know. Just, they did murder everyone they knew. <laughs> it was funny. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. I gotta go put it in the, the thing. Ugh, my back hurts. I feel like I'm done with this stream. After I sell my things to the nookies. I did it all for the nookies! <laughs> Yeah, come back next time to hear another traumatizing elementary story. And also, leave your traumatizing elementary story in the comment. Like, if you had a super fucked up teacher who, like, did, like, maybe not, like, you know, molested you or anything. Like, don't leave comments about that. I don't want to know that. That's for, like, another type of... Tell a response. Yeah, tell if if a teacher is molesting you, tell a trusted adult. We should put like a number here that you guys could call. This is taking a turn. Oh, I've been doing that the whole time. That explains it. But okay, so but anyways, if something funny and traumatizing happened to you and you like wish bad things upon a teacher in a funny way, like maybe you hope that like, you know, they get sneezed on during the coronavirus. But, like, not like they get coronavirus, just, like, enough to, like, make them worry. Like, oh, my God, did that person have corona? And then they're, like, worried in their house for, like, the rest of the time they're on furlough. You know, that, like, that kind of thing. Uh, let us know. Shattered glasses and torn pants. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, medicine. Fossil. Oh, I want to go sell a fossil. The, uh, you know, blathers. Oh, I guess I could sell sticks. No. Bagworm. Chris, I'm like... Oh, who's he in a rant? I'm from a place called Pennsylvania. Everybody's Dutch and 
they speak Pennsylvania Dutch, and they can't afford to fly their family members anywhere. I hate everything and everyone. Like, guys, like, we're doing this giveaway, but, like, <laughs> we need help. Help us. We're poor. Like, we're just giving people. We're just as poor as you are, okay? We're just as poor as you. You! <laughs> Taking a turn. <laughs> it's gonna be like, local YouTuber has <laughs> schizophrenic break on camera. <sighs> Oops. I have so many Nook Miles. And no mouse for days! And, uh, Animal Crossing is becoming, like, the real world. It's, like, stressing me out. I'm like, ah, oh, I have all these things to do. <laughs> like, I want to go to the, um, see Blathers. And I also want to travel to, like, some random place. My Nook Mile. Get in, baby. Get in, loser. Murdering everyone we know. Why am I so bad at digging holes? Wasn't made for this. Another fossil. Oh! Oh yeah! It's a fossil, baby! Little bitty baby fossil for me. <laughs> I don't know what... I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Itty bitty blathers, baby. <laughs> Don't go too far away. It'll get poofed back to me. It's like, well, let me use my stupid ladder. Rush straight. This stupid owl better be here. Do you guys like our new setup? I'm fully immersed in this game, y'all. Hey, Blathers. Look, he's awake. Shit. <laughs> wow. Hot. Ooh, I got a bunch of fossils. Hey, blathers. I didn't understand. I thought it was like, don't let me forget tomorrow to go get my eyeballs checked. So I can get them the same day like how you did it, like Eyeglass World or whatever. <laughs> you don't. Should I? No, you just want me to talk about that, don't you? I literally, Chris doesn't think I need glasses, you guys. Look, my eyes aren't even open. So I was driving today. I think it's always kind of been hard for me to see at night um, when I'm driving. Does that say fat whore? Um. Okay. <laughs> um, it's always been hard for me to see at night when I'm driving. And then today was like, I like, the shit hit the fan for me. It smells like the shit at the fan again in here. <laughs> yeah, but I was driving today and I saw a billboard. 
It was for the, the new Jim Carrey film. Um, the Grinch. The new, the new, you know, like how the Grinch stole Christmas. So I was like excited. I was like, oh, that's weird. It's not really Christmas time. I'm getting closer to the billboard, closer to it. And it just right in front of my eyes turns into a Papa John's pizza. <laughs> so, you know, it turns out it wasn't a Grinch movie. Not sure if they're making a new one. Jim Carrey probably should because it was quite a delight. But I don't know. Who knows? Some things can never live up to the hype of your imagination. Because it was a pizza. <laughs> so anyways. Yeah. Alright, let's see what ones I can donate. Ooh, T-Rex skull! A thermal skull! No need to pull them out. Oh, no. I'm fine. Ah. You just poofed on me. How dare you? Just poofed on me. I want to change my fit. I'm not feeling too hot about my fit right now. You're looking so cool, and I'm just like, ugh, I'm so lame in my fit. What the fuck is that? It's like a, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. He is literally like the most nondescript, like, like if somebody was like, hey, hire someone who like you cannot be sure what their race is. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like, is he white? Is he Native American? Is he African American? Is he Mexican? Is he Latino? Like, I literally want you to show that guy. Like, who is that? Please go back up to it. Do you know that person? Chris is just scrolling through Facebook. He looks like a, like a Simpsons character. Like, he's, like, good looking. He's, like, looking into the sun, like, nondescript. But he's just, like... They're, they're like, get us a man who is all of it, like, every single swirled into one. <laughs> oh, I love that. That just made me so happy. Okay. Anyways. Oh, look, it's trying to get me to swap the leader because I was, like, waving my hands all around. I know. I'm, like, done playing, though. I'm tired. <sighs> Alright guys, so leave me a comment about your tragic teacher story. Remember, no molestations. That's a whole nother uh, contact a trusted adult on that one because I am not that guy. <laughs> keep liking, keep subscribing, keep sharing. Patreon if you can, you guys, because then we can do more giveaways. Because, I mean, oh, what the hell? Oh my god, who got that picture of me? <laughs> you should show them. Chris just keeps showing me the best pictures. Somebody somehow found this picture of me at a gas pump and posted it online. So embarrassing. <laughs> it's like I washed my hands after. Why has everybody got to like, mi just mind your own business. Ugh, rude. <laughs> what if he came back and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, screenshot this moment and tag it on your social media. <laughs> and you'll get like 20 entries into the giveaway. Oh my goodness. Oh, what was it too? We were like, if you can think up of something, like you'll 
we can we can enter we can give you some entries i feel like we were trying to think of like funny like funny ways for you guys to get more entries so maybe like leave a comment with suggestions of like funny contests that we could do like during live streams or something to get more entries and more views um we're just trying to build up the channel so we can just keep giving shit away because like I don't know. Like I said it once, I said it a million times. We got pretty good life over here, so we're just trying to share the love, my friends. Remember to stay weird. Truth is out there. <laughs>